Hello guys, welcome to a new YouTube video. In today's video, I am making a tier list with a professional. We are going to be making a tier list with Joshua from Legend Screams. And if you don't know who this is, I will just let him do his introduction himself. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me. Um, yeah, I'm Joshua. Uh, I've been running Legend Screams since about uh, May. Uh, we are a tournament organizer slash uh, we broadcast events and stuff like that. Uh, most uh, people catch us at our Discord, legendscrims.com, um, but we also have our Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash legendscrims, uh, where we broadcast uh, some of the official Farlight tournaments as well as our own in-game tournaments. Um, in terms of our own in-game tournaments, we have uh, uh, four weekly qualifiers each week in both NA and EU. Um, that's on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then we also have a best of three finals um, each week uh, for both the regions as well. So a lot of uh, esports content uh, that uh, I'm kind of watching, enjoying. So um, I can kind of sort of give my opinion in terms of the, uh, you know, general scene uh, as it is right now. Awesome. Okay, cool. Um, well, let's get into it. Uh, there's a lot of heroes that we have in the game. I think I have all of them on the template. If I miss one, then I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but we're just going to go from left to right. Um, so up first is Bo. Or as some people say, BU. I don't know. How do you pronounce this, Josh? I go with Bo on my side here. I was I was a little bit kind of, you know, conflicted with Bo because he's definitely a, a hero who's got a lot of offensive capabilities right now but in terms of like the on like the more like esports side i'd say he has definitely been kind of more on the lower side of things not as popular um not as many t like uh, teams running him and when they are it it hasn't been super effective i just think his lack of mobility um even with his jumping grenade has uh, sort of left him behind i'd probably put him towards like the kind of maybe like low B, probably maybe like high C-ish area, probably closer to the higher C area in my opinion. Okay. It's actually pretty interesting because I do watch some esports as well. And I do see that Bo actually has a pretty decent pick rate in like the Philippines Cup, I think it is. Mm -hmm. And if you could, if you compare that to North America and EU, you, you basically don't see him at all. And as someone who has played Bo a lot lately, because I've been kind of experimenting with the satchels as well, I don't think he's actually that bad so i would put him more on like uh, the b kind of side but definitely not above b i can say one thing that is difference between like the philippines and north america and uh like eu and latam is that it, they're they're running uh squads over there so they have an additional player slot so right. they're able to be a lot more flexible with their uh team comps over there so definitely would uh, probably explain a lot more of the bow out there and it is exciting to see that it is used out there because uh when i've been watching i've seen a lot of stuff over there they use sienna out there quite a bit as well which is quite exciting yeah all right well i'm gonna put him on the seat here then do you agree? Cool. Yeah, I think a uh, high C would be uh, definitely pretty appropriate there. Well, up next we have our good old boy, Captain. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. what can we say about Captain? <laughs> right, I mean, Captain is one of those heroes that you need to have a team that knows how to play around him. In terms of his playstyle, it's a very kind of baity uh, play style. Yeah. Um, you want teams to kind of push into you and and basically just underestimate you because once you get that hose out and you're doing damage with that thing, slowing everyone down, it, and you have the bubble around you, it's a pretty tough time. While he's definitely a lower tier pick, if you have the right team comp around him, you can definitely kind of definitely highlight his uh, his kit there. Well, where, but where do we put him on the tier list? Oh right. Oh, I'm thinking like C seems pretty fair. You know, like he's still he's still capable. You know, he's not like M I mean, I don't want to say MKR, but he's not <laughs> MKR. You know. Yes, I see that. Uh, actually, that is the guy. That's the person that we forgot to put on the tier list here. He's not on the list. Oh, MKR. I just noticed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, okay, that's a problem for later. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So we have a uh, captain on C. Next up, we have Siano, and I think she's actually like pretty good, but at the same time. I can't wait for the developers to uh, rework the uh, jetpack ability into something else. I think she will be mm -hmm. even better. Yeah, I think in general as a support character and like one of the few that is actually, you know, realistically useful in this game right now, uh, Sienna is definitely up there. And uh, like I said, uh, Sienna has been seeing play in the Philippines often because in the Philippines, the games come down to the final zone with so many people left alive uh, that you'll see Sienna playing for like the heal off yeah. and uh, using a combination of all her heals and med kits and it, it goes on forever it's 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 insane um but it's so exciting to see personally for me in in terms of like competitive sienna does get kind of 
caught out quite a bit if you're, you know, just because of that lack of mobility. But like you said, hopefully when the, the reworks come, uh, she can get something that will be a little bit more uh, freeing for her so that she can, you know, just survive a little bit longer because definitely a great uh, kit in general. Yeah, I do think, especially in squads, uh, she works really, really well. Uh, especially if your your team is in cover and you can actually get a reses off just with the ultimate. Yep. I don't know where you where would you put her on the list? I'm having a tough time here because like my like my brain's telling me like it's kind of she's kind of equivalent in terms of like the pick rate of like a C character, but like the usefulness is definitely kind of more on that B kind of area. So like if we're talking about actual tier list usefulness. I guess we'd have to probably say like more of that kind of B area, maybe. Okay. Okay. Like maybe B minus if that's if that's allowed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually almost gonna put her on A. Like I think she's so good, especially like for yeah. I mean, casual play. Like it's amazing to yeah. be able to to rest teammates without having to commit to anything. You can still shoot and move around. All right. Uh, up next we have one of my main characters, Darkside. <laughs> And I've noticed he's been picked like across the board in the Philippines, North America, EU. In general, Duckside is a menace. He's been a menace. Um, I played a lot of Duckside before, uh, you know, all the jetpack changes and stuff like that. And yeah. uh, when I started playing uh, the, you know, the first day the update came out, I was like, oh my goodness, Duckside is busted. And, uh, you know, from then, um, I. So many people were having, you know, issues with like the jetpack changes, but I was just like, try Duckside, and then, you know, from there people were like, okay, yeah, let's let's have some fun, and uh, it kind of Duckside's a great kind of character to get people to, you know, be hyped about the movement in this game because you can do so much. He's so versatile. Yeah, for me, Duckside is one of those characters that can not only play aggressively but also in defense is actually really really great when people push you and i think he has a lot of potential just you know when you ulti someone and someone is airborne you can just one clip them while they're in the air which uh, is a super super powerful tool well for me that's a clear s tier uh, character right there <laughs> yeah like there's just about hardly anyone that can really deal with Duckside at this point right now. Uh, it, it, these day and ages, it seems like uh, people have sort of adapted in a way. We've, we've been seeing more embers to kind of, uh, yeah. in quote unquote, counter him. But uh, he's definitely by far, if not the most mobile character uh, with Maggie, um, definitely up there. So I definitely agree on the S tier. All right, up he goes. <laughs> All right, yep. next up Way we have. Uh, yeah, next up we have Ember. Ember, Ember. Um, yeah, I think uh, he's a great character. I think I've seen him mm -hmm. quite a decent amount of comp, but I don't think every team picks him up, right? No, he's definitely kind of a more secondary pick, um, kind of with sort of people switching out characters here and there. Um, you'll see most often, like these days, like Sunil, Duckside, Maggie is like the main kind of default comp there. But you. Uh, because of the amount of duck side we see, we see um, now the Ember coming out. So um, Ember's pick rate has shot up quite a bit there, uh, especially in Ladam. Uh, it was kind of kind of started out there, but then uh, EU's been uh, a big kind of uh, you know push for the Ember play there. And uh, now I would definitely say he, he's he's very strong. Um, it, it, in ways, he's got a lot of interesting things with his kit. Uh, his his smoke lets you see so many people. So like, arguably, he's a very good sniper because of that as well. He's just an interesting character across the board. Um, definitely, like at least A tier, right? For me, he also goes in S. Uh, sorry, in A. Uh, I wouldn't say S tier, but definitely A tier. I think he's really, really good. All right. Uh, up next, the new character, Freddy. I don't think I've Freddy really is seen interesting, him. Interesting. Yeah. Right? Part of me wants like, to say he's like decent, but other part of me is like, nah, he's not that good, you know? Like against good players, they will tell the difference, you know? Yeah, I think in general, you've sort of got to rely on the fact that, you know, at least at, like you said, at a high level, people are going to expect the clone to be a fake. Shoot out the clone when it's far further away from you and just deal with it that way. Um, but at the same time, um, you'll also see people get pretty relaxed around it, not expecting it to do anything. They're like, okay, well, it's just a clone. We don't got to worry about it. But then, you know, you see Freddy teleport onto it a little bit later there and it can cause a bit of chaos. Um, but we haven't seen a whole lot of Freddy. You know, we do see it here and there, but because of the kind of uh, long uh, transition times between his abilities, it's been, uh, it's, he just gets caught out a lot, unfortunately, yeah. in fights. Yeah, I agree. I think he's definitely more of a casual character. You know, you, you, you go into pubs, you juke people around, you have fun. But I, I think against actual, like, good players that have a good uh, sense of gaming and, and positioning, I don't think it works that well. 
And I do think, as you said, the animation locks on the character can get you easily killed. No, yeah. Uh, a lot a lot of the plays that we've been kind of seeing with him have mostly been relying on uh, his actual uh, snare. I actually found out semi-recently is if you ha if you have a Freddy and you throw the snare at a vehicle, it actually takes all the people out of the vehicle. And oh. imagine how chaotic that is. Like, that's just got to be like the weirdest thing. All of a sudden you're out of the car and you're you're in a fight and you're stuck in a circle. Like, yeah, that's, Dude, I did not know that. Yeah. Actually, that's a good thing. I don't thing. know. I, that's what I've heard. I don't. I've never actually seen it in person. Somebody told me that, and I, I I'm, I'm, I'm trusting that 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 was the truth. I could have been lied to, but uh, I'm pretty sure. I, I should probably try it in the future just to make sure. But yeah, yeah me too. Worth testing if you're a Freddie Main. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, for me, I, I would put him like next to Bone Captain, pretty much like more for casual play. Maybe not the best in competitive, right? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking as well to the c-section he goes oh that sounds weird <laughs> no pun intended <laughs> all right up next we have uh lucinda lucinda is one of those characters that was so dominant before jetpacks and for obvious reasons her alt just causes so much chaos her molotov does so much damage and still even to these days there it's just as strong um the obviously the alt isn't quite as strong anymore but still quite a threat and it's just a consistent character in general losing the shotgun buff was a bit of a nerf definitely but right now with how her like her, her kit plays out it's very consistent and i would say probably at least b if not a tier right now yeah i i do feel like the jetpacks actually enhanced uh her whole kit whereas now that she doesn't have vertical verticality anymore like vertical movement uh, i feel like it's a little bit harder to throw the ultimate because the ultimate basically when you try to throw it up on the high ground half of the time it will go like past the wall or something like it, something weird happens but i do agree she's still super super strong especially those mollies they really really hurt yeah i'd put her probably around b as well to be honest i think she's yeah, she's a bit too. above the like casual characters you know <laughs> yeah i definitely agree i definitely agree cool all right up next we have uh, the movement queen herself maggie i think we can probably both pretty safely say that's gonna be our second s tier Pretty much right away yeah um just the mobility the the just the ability to be able to make decisions on the fly with so much mobility is so insane um if you see somebody out of position you can just capitalize it if you see some uh, a chance to escape uh in a bad situation you're just gone because you're maggie and you're now you have jet you have jet slide too you have left the building it's uh maggie is so so strong right now and uh one of the few characters that does seem to come out favorably against uh, a duck side there in terms of being able to kind of you know vertically jetpack and just be you know a nuisance when you get quake there yeah that's true i think uh maggie is i mean next to ember she's probably the best counter to duck side and even though like a lot of people say like yes maggie has a lot of mobility but also it gives you so much more room for error like basically mm -hmm. even if even if you do make a mistake like you can just get away with it you know whereas other yep. characters you make a mistake you're just dead so uh, yeah, you're punished. Yeah. All right. Uh, up next, we have May Shell. Now, this one is interesting because I've seen her being played in like uh, some scenes, like as in the uh, Philippines, but then again, North America and Europe, not as much. But sometimes you do see it being picked up. So it's interesting. I, there was actually a pretty heated discussion about this the other day, um, at, basically kind of just arguing the viability of Ember versus May Shell and kind of how... Their kits are similar in ways in terms of, you know, being able to block vision with their ultimates, you know, using the tower while standing behind it, as well as also being able to get people to move out of positions with their smoke and their uh, base blaster. Um, it's uh, it's very interesting. They're very similar in that way. Um, I When I was thinking about it in my head, I definitely see how it can be similar there. In general, it's pr pretty decent, I, but I just, in my, for whatever reason, I just always feel that Ember seems to come out on top and is a lot easier for your team to play around, which is, uh, I think, kind of what uh, separates them, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I mean, I do think it also m might depend on the skill level of the characters, because I have seen some pretty, pretty good Michelle players, and th they, they really, like, you know, can nail their tactical ability to the, like, pixel on where to throw it. And it's not an easy thing, actually. It takes a lot of practice. But I think I... Put her next to Lucinda and Sienna, probably. I do think Ember is just that little bit better, you know? It's kind of it's kind of funny because, you know, they're so close, but they're like, yeah, just a little bit. So yeah. I definitely agree with uh, putting, them, put it, putting uh, Michelle there. All right. 
up she goes to the B. Um, well, next up, <laughs> we have Momoi. <laughs> well, uh, uh, it hurts. Momoi is definitely a firm D tier, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> Her shield is a joke, considering Duckside's ability gives the exact same shields, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's hard to find any sort of positivity to say Momoi is decent right now, besides the fact that she's got one of the best skins in the game. Like, that's about it. Uh, there's nothing less. Uh, th th sorry, there's nothing more I can say about this. Like, she's down there with MKR, and like, it's horrible, yep, you know? Definitely agreed. <laughs> All right, moving on to Phantom. Phantom is one of my kind of favorite heroes in that I think that she has a lot of potential to make super highlight worthy play and super tactical play. However, it, when it comes down to it, uh, it's not super consistent and it's 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 not always going to be as flashy as you'll have as you'd see with kind of some of the other characters but you're always going to do pretty consistent i'd say so definitely like a a sol a firm solid character right there yeah i agree i think the outplay potential in casual play with phantom is amazing right like you can flank Absolutely. people and like you can surprise them if you do it right and also like you have those, those uh you know those scans that can help you out uh you know kind of calculate situations whether you should push or not but i do think in competitive she doesn't shine that much yes you can get invisible and maybe reposition but other than that she doesn't add that much value compared to other characters i feel like i would put her probably like in the i kind of want to put her in the casual section for c you know i on my notes, that's exactly where I had Phantom as well. So I don't disagree. I was I was like sort of stuck on that one. There I was like maybe B because it sort of seems like it, but like the pick rate doesn't doesn't really suggest it. And then like the actual like you know consistency I see it in terms of tournaments, it just doesn't really kind of favor the B section. So I definitely think C does make more sense right now. Yeah, agreed. All right, up next we have Sunil. Yeah, A plus. A plus, like, 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 he's not, he's not moving around like Duckside. He's not moving around like Maggie, but he's like the character that just kind of amplifies everything right now. That's the current meta. So he's, he's absolutely like, if not S tier, he's, he's like the A plus plus plus. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to actually put him in S to be honest, because, you know, mm -hmm. He actually, not only does he enhance your team, but also he provides that extra bit of mobility with the jump pad. And I imagine if his uh, tactical ability also gets reworked, like the jetpack gets removed to something else, I think he's actually going to be pretty crazy. Like the way you can actually like outplay people with the ultimate, and especially if you combine it with like a duck side speed on top of that or other things like, wow, dude, that, you, can, you can just roll over a team in like two seconds and it's over, you know? Yeah, no, 100% agreed. It's kind of, uh, he's kind of pretty central to just about everything. So I definitely agree with him being uh, up in S tier as well, I guess. Because at the end of the day, if you think about it, he's just every, he's just, he just embodies everything that you kind of can do to take advantage of, uh, you know, your skill in this game. So he's yeah. definitely a character that's uh, just so consistent in that way. Yeah, and trying to outgun a Sony ult is super hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Uh, up next, we have uh, Cypher. Uh, now, Cypher, from memory, used to be like a must-have on the team back when we had jetpacks. Also, I have to mention that back then, her ultimate uh, was also a little bit better. Right now, we don't see her being picked at all, I feel like, right? Like, at least in competitive scene. Like, hardly ever picked. Um, obviously, her ult is good, but... Uh, most teams have kind of adapted and, you know, learned just get get the heck out of there, right? Yeah. And uh, or shoot it out even. But, you know, not even not even that much these days that te do teams look to shoot it out. They just kind of disengage and hope that they haven't pushed up in time. Uh, right now, I don't want to say she's a like a D tier character because, you know, there's still like obviously good usage to her kit. Yeah. But I would say probably kind of more in that sort of, uh, you know, casual kind of uh, tier right now. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, I think you've said everything there. <laughs> okay, uh, up next we have Watchmen. And Watchmen, I don't know, like ever since they changed him, I haven't really played this character, but I was just watching Legend Scrims Final and I saw a few Watchmen players in there. <laughs> it, it's, it's interesting. Like every once in a while, you'll see a Watchmen out there and like I've never really came into a situation where i've been like oh my gosh that was an amazing watchman so i can't i can't i don't think i can really say um like he's 
you know, a tier above anything right now. Um, but he's he's an interesting character, and I think there's definitely ways you can play around him. The, the way he slows characters down and just gives, a, you know, not, I don't want to say an additional character in the fight, but, you know, you know that a little bit of help there uh, can be quite convenient in fights, but I don't think it's enough to really um, make the difference right now. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I mean, yeah, I call uh, this character running simulator because, like, he literally is just, yeah. it's all he does. Like, he runs with the bot and the drone, and that's it. That's it. Yeah, I would put um, I would put him in the C section as well. I, we could probably throw it in the casual tier at this point because it's not Momoi, right? It's not Momoi. No, Momoi is like the t that tiny bit worse with MKR, you know, that tiny bit yeah. worse. And uh, last but not least, we have Young. Now, Young is one of those characters again. I've seen him a lot in the in the Philippine Cup. Which I think actually he does add so much value in regards to like information. But sometimes I wonder like. You could easily swap him out for someone else and maybe uh, have a different kind of playstyle. So, I think he's good, but I don't think he is like a must-have in the team, right? No, I definitely agree with what you said there about how it's kind of sort of team dependent on uh, how you play it there, because um, you know every team has a different, uh, you know, has their sort of playstyle, and uh, there's going to be certain teams that have uh, more, you know, obviously kind of in intelligence uh you know making sure that they have an advantage all that kind of stuff before in entering a fight and yong's like like so good about getting information you get to see what shields they have you get to see their loco locations and all that stuff the but you trade off for the lack of mobility obviously no i would probably yeah i don't know i don't i would not even put him in the b tier to be honest i would actually put him more into ah uh, maybe because in squads he is decently mm. picked Maybe that's, he does go with the beat. My thoughts as well. Like he's he's definitely up there. Like I don't. I think he's kind of he's he's got to be better than Phantom, right? Like at the end yeah. of the day, in terms of being able to get info and stuff like that, like that's got to be the case. He does a you know he helps out his team. Like if he gets a mark on his and any enemy, his team can capitalize on that. That can help benefit them as well. Yeah. So I think B is probably a safer spot right now. Yeah. To the beat here he goes. All right. So that is uh, the tier list as we have it right now for this patch. I think this might actually change a lot in the next patch or like not in the next patch, but I think over the coming months, because I don't think they're going to rework everything at once. I do think there's definitely a few characters that can, uh, especially in the B section, they can move up higher. Like for, for example, Siana, Lucinda, like once they get reworked, I think they're going to be super, super interesting. Okay, and that's a wrap for the tier list. Shout out to Joshua for coming over and taking the time to make this tier list with me. If you want to have more information about how to participate in tournaments for Legend Scrims in North America and Europe, please go to legendscrims.com, go check them out. Also, if you want to watch some competitive gameplay, please go over to twitch.tv slash legendscrims and you can watch some tournaments as well.